All right, and welcome to today's Developer Skill Sprint. I'm JT, and today we're going to talk about modernizing your VCL application with the TMS Modern UI Bonus Pack. As you're probably well aware by now, Skill Sprints are meant to give you a very quick overview of a specific topic, typically about 20 minutes, uh, with potential demos and discussions and live Q&A. So um, right here live in the studio, ready to answer your questions. So today we're going to talk about the TMS Modern UI Pack. The Modern UI Pack is actually a collection of a few different TMS control packs. So we worked with TMS to bring these uh, to the RAD Studio, Delphi, and C++ Builder XE6 customers as a special registered users download bonus pack. The control pack, the modern UI pack, can, uh, basically consists of three of the TMS standard UI packs, which include Metro controls, Windows 7 controls, and Smooth controls. And the goal here is to provide a rich set of controls to modernize the look and feel of your VCL applications to bring them to Windows 7 and Windows 8. During the launch of XE6, we talked a lot about the end of support for Windows XP. So now is a really important time to take those existing applications and make them look and feel modern on Windows 7 and Windows 8 operating systems. The main reason I really want to impress upon you to give these a try now is that these are only available as a free download for registered users who purchased RAD Studio, Delphi, or C++ Builder XE6 on or before the end of this month, June 30th, 2014. So there's only a few weeks left to get these great controls as part of your XE6 purchase. Otherwise, they're available as separate packages through TMS software after this, um, uh, this period. So the TMS uh, modern UI pack consists of Metro, Windows 7, and Smooth controls. And there's a collection of well over 100 user controls that really bring to life your application in these new operating systems. Windows 8 has a very specific look and feel, which was originally known as Metro. And of course, uh, we've uh, delivered Metropolis support, which, which was a style to help you make uh, Metro apps, uh, the look and feel of Metro apps. Now, Microsoft doesn't call these Metro apps anymore, but that look and feel is still a big part of Windows 8. TMS has a set of controls here. Uh, with the Metro controls that allow you to do the same thing, which is to create an app uh, that is in the style of Windows 8, as well as forms that are in the style of Windows 8. And you can see here also that um, in XE6, with the addition of menu styling, this really finalizes or brings a complete styling uh, picture uh, for you, especially for Windows 8, which again has a very unique look and feel for it across all, all the um, uh, across all Windows 8 systems. So TMS Metro App and Form is, a, uh, is the first set of controls that you'd use. Uh, of course, dialogues are an important part of that look and feel too. So uh, this includes uh, Metro Tasks and Input uh, Dialogues. Basically, you can see there the le uh, different functions you would call to get a Metro uh, Dialog, including Show Message and um, uh, various other type of input dialogues. Buttons are a big part of Metro, Metro uh, style, Windows 8 style, with this very uh, unique look, as you see there on the right, <clears throat> as well as tiles. Now, tiles um, are typically used as the start menu uh, user interface for Windows 8, but you can certainly use these within uh, your actual application as well. Uh, typically, these are done with uh, HTML uh, type of code that... Um, that you can add these that style that element of the Windows Start menu of these tiles that are updated in real time to your application using these um, these Metro tiles. A couple other uh, Metro components that are provided include hints, uh, progress bars, and an advanced uh, Metro scroll box as well. The Windows Seven set of controls is a similar um, uh, set of controls that give you a very Windows 7 specific look and feel, starting from the panel um, to selectors, progress bars, uh, and images, uh, including navigation buttons and frames, as well as progress bars and uh, labels, which are active for hyperlinking and internal links, as well as the toolbars, um, information bars, and task items that are a very specific look for Windows 7. 
Now, Smooth Controls is a really nice pack uh, from TMS. They include um, a large selection of controls that give you a bunch of different looks and feels that you can play with. Um, for example, the Windows 8 Marquee Progress Indicator that you see here. A very nice rotary type of menu that you can add or circular progress bars. Um, list boxes and um, advanced uh, smooth list boxes as well. Uh, some touch keyboard and pop-up touch keyboard uh, look and feel and, and as well um, the smooth message dialog. Sliders, scroll bars, uh, and page sliders. The tile list and smooth dock. I, I really like the smooth dock, which gives you kind of a Mac dock feel as well. Um, and one of the nice things about this, of course, is the drag and drop support. That's part of it as well. So just to reiterate, uh, the bonus pack is a set of modern UI controls from TMS. Hundreds of modern controls. Uh, you, you can use them to update your Windows VCL apps for Windows 7 and 8 look and feel. And they're available for all purchasers of Rad Studio Delphi C++ Builder XE6 within this month. So make sure you get your hands on those. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the TMS Modern UI Pack in action. First of all, you're going to need to get to the uh, registered users download page. Um, where you see all the available downloads for your registered users, including T-Chart Lite, Media Converter, um, and our accessibility pack. And here is the TMS Modern Windows UI pack. This basically is downloaded as an installer. And that installer um, creates a new folder for us um, under our public users directory. Call TMS software, and in there you'll find uh, three folders around each of the included control packs Metro, Smooth, and W7. The installer also will uh, install and register the components for you in the IDE. So if we go back to the IDE um, and we type in TMS here, we'll see that we do have a Metro application uh, type that we can work with that's also available as well in the gallery. If we do a, a new other, we'll see a Metro application available to us as well. The um, Metro application uh, sets up a style that makes it look like a Windows 8 application or Metro application. So you can see here, and this is a feature new for XE6, is uh, styling the menu area or the non-client area of a VCL application. So this is taking advantage of that feature. Um, so another way to explore this, of course, is just to take a look at some of the samples, but we can type in Metro here to see the available types of controls that we can work with in the Metro pack. There's a bunch of uh, typical uh, controls as well as dialogues uh, for you to use. If we type in W7, uh, we'll see all the Windows 7 uh, types of controls that are available to us. And if we type in Smooth, we'll see a lot of controls. So let's go ahead and go back to that um, directory for the demos. <clears throat> we'll start with the Metro uh, demo. And let's um, go ahead and take a look at that. So this is a bunch of the different types of controls that we just looked at inside the component palette uh, tied up to events to bring up some of the dialogues as well as show some of the hints um, of additional features such as the color change it uh, will move to as you um, as you go ahead and um, uh, go over the control so let's go ahead and run that so uh, here we have all the different types of controls notice that they change the colors and they show the hints that were provided to them um, we'll also go take a look at uh, some of these dialogues here so here's your, your Windows 8 or Metro show message style um, and uh, task dialog, so there's going to be additional information there. Find or replace type of dialog, and an input dialog. Okay, we also have the um, various tile style controls, progress bars, and uh, shapes that are provided as part of the Metro style package. So let's take a look at um, the Windows 7 examples here now. And we'll go ahead and pick main form. 
Okay, and let's go ahead and run that. So this is going to show a bunch of the collections of the controls. We saw a few of them from the available um, uh, pages or the, uh, the presentation that I was doing at first. So these show them in action, uh, different types of selectors that you have available to you, available to you uh, different types of panels as well. Um, if we go back to the home page, these are actually links out to uh, web pages. They'll kick up the, um, the web page uh, for you as well. Open dialog, save, etc., etc. And um, we will also take a look at the menu or the wizard here. So this is basically the example of writing a uh, wizard with the various steps uh, that you would go through um, to create an app. This looks a lot like um, modern Windows 7 software. Okay. And another example of the speed buttons. We'll just run the built app already. So these are your typical speed buttons within Windows 7. Now, if you take a look at the smooth controls, um, there are a lot. Uh, this would take probably a whole hour to go through all of them. So we'll just pick a few uh, that might be kind of fun. Um, why don't we start with the mega menu? Again, I've already built uh, some of these, so we'll uh, run the demo exe here. Uh, so this gives you nice big uh, menu buttons with very rich menu content here uh, that can also be uh, torn off the menu. Um, and include uh, controls in them as well. Um, we can also choose different styles. So if we want to have an office specific look, let's pick the 2007 Luna. And again, you see that these are very rich menu controls um, that even will even show the uh, web page as a preview um, inside the menu item itself. Another one that I really like is the spinner. So the spinner, this type of style control has become pretty popular. You can pick the different styles again that you want to work with, um, including a day picker as well. So we'll just um, add the selected timestamp there and we'll play a little bit here let's see nope okay we'll sit here a while until I get three in a row now we don't have time for that okay um, and then another one that I really like it here in the smooth controls is the the dock which gives a kind of a a Mac OS feel uh, to your application so in this case you have uh, a dock that's very similar to what uh, you see in a Mac application and you can also pick things like let's say I want to drop a new PDF document into the dock I can drag and drop it it'll separate and allow me to to dock it uh, into the into the dock here um, and uh, yeah that's a really fun one uh, to play with so again the smooth controls you can spend all day playing with all the different types of controls that you have to work with but between the sets of Metro controls, Windows 7 controls, as well as smooth controls. This is a really valuable bonus pack that will help you modernize your applications to bring them up from Windows XP and give them that real Windows 7 and Windows 8 Metro look and feel. So just a reminder that these are available as a bonus pack for all purchasers of Rad Studio Delphi or C++ Builder XE6 on or before June 30th, 2014. A couple of resources uh, for you for the Modern UI. <clears throat> Again, we went through a lot of the demos under uh, the Modern UI demos, Metro Smooth Windows 7. You find those under the uh, public documents directory under TMS software, as well as product manuals available for you on the TMS site too. Okay, so that was today's developer skill sprint, modernizing your VCL applications uh, with the TMS Modern UI pack. On Thursday, Marco is going to uh, cover the skill sprint of adding ads. 
to your mobile app. This is a great way to monetize your application. It's actually uh, surprisingly lucrative. Um, just as an example, we find mobile apps are surpassing uh, traditional um, software companies like Nintendo in terms of uh, revenue, mostly through ads or, or in-app purchases. But ads are a great way to add a monetization strategy to your application. So that'll again be June 12th, which is coming up in two days with Marco Cantu. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take some uh, Q&A. Thank you. We're back here with uh, JT. No, I'm back. Hey, um, by the way, the name of the uh, software package uh, skip, uh, slipped my mind, but it's Candy Crush. Candy, Candy Crush, Crush generated more revenue last quarter than all Nintendo software combined. So the mobile is a very lucrative business and monetizing. They don't even charge for their ads. They monetize through ads and or through um, in-app in -app purchases, purchases yeah. is a real way to make serious dollars. Yep. So uh, several of the team have been answering questions. So we'll go uh, and let's see. I think, Jim, you're out there as well? I am out here. Okay, Jim's out there in Boise, Idaho. And uh, or somewhere near that area up there. So Jim, why don't you that, uh, go, let's go through some of the questions that have been answered and then I'll, uh, I'll do some typing as well. Okay, um, first question is, is if the TMS Smooth Controls work with Windows XP? Um, yeah, I mean, we haven't really been testing regularly on Windows XP since it's no longer supported, but um, I don't see any reason why they shouldn't work. Uh, these controls have been around for, since Windows XP, uh, so I think they will work. Of course, your apps will look like Windows 7 apps or Windows 8 apps on Windows XP if you use these controls. That's true. They're not using any specific Windows 8 APIs. They're just, yeah. Correct. Are these for FireMonkey and VCL or just VCL or just FireMonkey? This bonus pack is for VCL. Um, one of the things we really wanted to do in this release was uh, to put some uh, effort into VCL, which you've seen in, in many other uh, features as well. Um, and so we wanted to uh, provide VCL developers, especially in light of the fact that a lot of us have built apps for XP and we need to move on um, largely due to the end of life, end of support for Microsoft. So this is a, a pack to help help you folks get your apps onto uh, these more modern uh, versions and to modernize them while you're doing that. So here's one asked if we, uh, recommendations for building applications for Windows 7 and 8, asking if you should have different UIs for each uh, OS you're planning on supporting, or the same ones across, or how? To, what's the best way to do that? Well, if you really wanted to look right, depending on the um, target platform, you, since Windows 7 and Windows 8 look so different from one another, you probably are better off building uh, new forms, at least for the Windows 8 portion of it. Um, and then you can either uh, put out specific versions, um, or you could do some dynamic um, uh, you know, figure out which operating system you're on and then dynamically load the form for that operating system for that, that target platform. So now if you want to, you could could you use the Windows 8 style on a Windows 7 app and deploy it on Windows 7? Would Microsoft get after you for that? I doubt they'll come after you for that. And yes, it's technically possible with our with the types of controls. Oh good. Um, now some people came in late. How do they they get these uh, the TMS smooth control smooth control pack. So actually, it's more than just a smooth control pack. It is um, it includes smooth controls, the Metro controls, and Windows Seven controls in a bonus pack we call the Modern UI pack. This is available for download from the registered users website. So um, you basically uh, someone put the link in there, which is cc.embarcadero.com/slash/myreg. Log in with your EDN. Um, it'll know which licenses you have, so it'll show you the available downloads. And I showed it in the video as well. Uh, grab that pack as a, a download, and it installs. Um, it runs the installer to um, uh, basically register and install and register the components for you into your IDE. So now, if someone wants to build a FireMonkey application with uh, this kind of look and feel, is that possible as well? Or since I mean, these are only VCL controls, 
Uh, there, yeah, it's possible. Um, I mean, we have a Metropolis uh, UI as well if you wanted to do Windows 8 on top of FireMonkey. Um, these, this control pack includes a few more controls, particularly the dialogues. Um, and TMS does offer FM, uh, FMX versions of them. Uh, let's see. Does this come with source, or do you need to buy the full version from TMS to get the source control? Oh, gosh. I don't know the answer to that question. I believe they come with source. Um, you have it on your machine? I do, yeah. I'll yeah. Go take, I could take a look while we're answering other questions. Okay. Uh, a couple other questions about some of TMS's other controls here, but those are probably, I guess, off topic for right now. TMS has a lot of other controls. Check out their site, and if you can find more information about those. TMS has, you could spend a day on TMS's website. They have <laughs> so many different types of controls, even smooth controls. And stuff. That package itself is huge, um, and they do some really, really cool stuff. So, um, yeah, if you haven't uh, checked out uh, their packages and, and some of their controls, it's definitely worth um, spending some time on the website. And this is an example of the ones we really thought would help, um, specifically for moving forward, migrating uh, into Windows 7, Windows 8. But there's lots of other great controls on that on their website. So now, if someone goes up to TMS's website, which control packs does this um, this download include? It's three packages. Um, so you'll see the uh, you, I, I put in the resources links to the product manuals for Metro, Win Seven. They call it W Seven and Smooth Controls. Okay. Um, let's see, I think we've gotten through most of the questions. Does I miss something here? I'm trying to scroll back. Yeah, if people also go to the marketo.com slash rad offer, uh, the rad offer lists the different parts of the promos, the VCL premium style pack, the Fire Monkey premium style pack, uh, meet a converter for converting your VCL if you want to move to Fire Monkey. And under the TMS software, it says that it includes the TMS smooth controls, TMS metro controls, and TMS W7 controls. So just as JT said, just everybody go to... Uh, um, Embarkado.com slash rad offer, R A D O F F E R. And so, this uh, offer is only valid through the end of the quarter, which ends on June 30th. Yeah, I think you might have a few more days to grab it. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, we, we if give you. If you buy like on the 30th of June. Give you several weeks to actually still yeah. continue to download it, but you Probably. have to buy within that time period. Correct. Yep. So, uh, Stefan just pointed out that. Usually the bundled pack only is DCU only, which is like I remember for that's yeah. I'm case. sitting in the source director and I don't see a folder for TMS, so I'm assuming there is no source with this package. But I'll I'll follow up with uh with the team at TMS just to double check. Yeah, Kenneth was having a question about these are VCL controls. It's possible that there's some controls that might be non-visual that would show up in the component palettes, whether you're on a VCL or a FireMonkey project. But again, these are uh, these are for VCL. Right. Uh, just, it's VCL. Yeah, I, I think it might be a bug uh, that those show up in the FMX palette, frankly. Um, so I wouldn't uh, count on using those. Yeah. But thank you for, uh, for noting that. I'm going to pass that along to TMS software. So, of course, and then the big question is, is this sprint going to be available for replay later for people that have missed it? Only if you give us money. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I've already edited and rendered the first three sprints, and they'll show up as watch me uh, links on the sprints page. That page may not have been updated yet. You can also go to the Embarcadero TechNet, let's see, uh, on YouTube, and you can find them uh, on the skill sprints. So if I go to Embarcadero TechNet YouTube, let's see. Um, okay, and then there's a playlist called Developer Skill Sprints, and you'll find uh, the three that we've had so far. 
uh, on the playlist developer skill sprint. Uh, use packages, remote control, Windows app with tethering, add taskbar controls, and I'll get I'm, I'll get this one up uh, very quickly as well. And don't forget Thursday we'll be doing advertising, which is mobile specific, um, with Marco Cantu. So we're going to be advertising, and I think later we have another one on uh, in-app payments, right? Yes. It should be the following Tuesday, next week. So I always like to point out a great model is to ship your app with ads and then charge them to take the ads off. It's a real simple model, especially for freemium, um, meaning you want to make your app free for download, and that's a good way to get people to even try it. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, you can pay to get the ads taken Yeah, out. that's the simplest uh, in-app payment is turn the ads off. Everybody does that. And then, of course, you could have other levels or other functionality that you would turn on with Absolutely. an app purchase but, uh, as well. So uh, let's see. So it's Christopher suggesting that maybe we should offer a freemium version of Delphi with ads. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> if, if, uh, if we were a mobile app, maybe we'd think about it. <laughs> That's good. So now you'd mentioned that these uh, controls have been around from TMS for a while. So in the future, someone could move to the uh, could buy the controls directly from TMS, or even buy them now and get the uh, source scroll control and or sorry, the source code is and use it with other versions of Delphi in the future as well, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, these these controls have been. I know the Ash Smooth controls have been around for several versions. Put this skill sprints. I'm going to put the skill sprints uh, URL on the answer to the sprints available, and there it is. There's the link in the Q and A for people who want to get to the previous. And this will be the landing playlist for all the skill sprints that are happening between now and. I don't think we'll actually ever ever stop. I no, think I've really got them scheduled this. through the end of July every yep. Tuesday, Thursday. Mm -hmm. But there's no reason why we wouldn't continue skill sprints till. Um, the internet stops. <laughs> the end of the internet. The end of the internet. No, um, I definitely like these. Um, I hope you guys are getting a lot of value out of them. These quick, uh, very focused um, events like this. And um, if you have additional topics you'd like us to cover, you can reach us directly. David, I, JT, Jim, Stephen, any of us who are actively yeah. on these uh, sessions. So, so JT at Embarcado.com, David I at Embarcado.com, Jim not. Jim dot McKeith, M C K E E T H at Embarcado.com. Stephen dot ball, B A L L, that's with a P H on Stephen at Embarcado.com. All of us, uh, we'd love to uh, get suggestions. You can look look on what was already scheduled out through uh, through the current end of time uh, and then go from there. So if somebody wanted to get the Fire Monkey. Equivalent this from mobile development. What, which what, you know what they should get to get from TMS. Well, you wouldn't want to use necessarily the Windows 8 look and feel for mobile development, um, but TMS does have a, I would say, easily another hundred packages of, of controls that you can uh, look at and, and try to find something that that works for you. Yeah, they've um, got a bunch of T just go to the TMS software, go to products. Uh, they have links on the products left hand side for Delphi and C++ Builder. Uh, VCL component sets and components. They have a Fire Monkey component Fire Monkey set. section is the place to go. Yep. Uh, in mobile. fact, for mobile, they have uh, specific their own controls that are specific to iOS. Right. They do. They do uh, an iOS set that will render the uh, platform. Yeah, controls. the native controls on yep. the platform. But then that app would be tied specifically. Correct. To it, iOS. It only. doesn't use the FMX um, uh, common API. So a couple of the questions around how to get the TMS bonus pack. And if you're an XC6 uh, purchaser, which looks like many of you are, you can get it uh, from the registered users download page. So um, I believe it's on EDN. I will put the link up. Yeah, I'll have to link the link. Okay, David's going to go uh, put the link up here shortly. Um, the uh, another question is, does it work with XC5? And actually, that's a good question. I don't know the answer uh, to that one offhand, although. I suspect that something like the Metro controls are XC6 specific, since you did see that it does the um, menu 
uh, styling as well, and that's the Nexus 6 feature. So uh, that one, I'm pretty confident, would not work well in XC5. Um, someone just installed the modern UI pack, and he gets an error on loading the package. Hmm. Okay. I would say definitely attempt to load the package next time. If you continue to have issues, um, you can contact uh, TMS, and they'd be uh, able to help you uh, resolve that, uh, that issue. Another question about uh, source. Does source come with the uh, bonus pack? This question came up earlier today. Um, I have a question out to TMS on that. I did not see a source directory in the file, so I think it is DCUs only. Let's see here. And somebody does have XC5 in the smooth pack, but doesn't have all the items you were using. Um, I believe the smooth controls were updated uh, for XC6 as well, so this particular bonus pack does have additional uh, controls um, in the XC6 version. What is the difference between the download pack and the pro version? I believe the only difference uh, at this point is that the download pack that we provide does not contain the sources. Um, and this actually, as I mentioned, three uh, different TMS component packs that are put together in one, which consists of smooth controls, the Metro uh, controls as well as the W7 or Windows 7 controls. Does TMS pack support 64-bit 2? Um, it should, although to be honest I haven't tried it, so I will uh, give that a try um, after this call and uh, we'll make sure that it does. Where can I find the list of processors that support mobile application for Android operating system? Uh, so David did point uh, post the URL but basically, as long it is, as it's an ARM V7 CPU core, and it supports the Neon floating point unit, then the device, uh, Android uh, device, should work fine. Uh, these are VCL only, correct? Yes. These are, this pack is for VCL developers specifically. Um, in XC6, we, as you probably have noticed, we put a lot of effort into um, uh, spending time on VCL. Uh, applications. Uh, we, you know, we've done a lot of work on FireMonkey. A lot of that work had been shared between FireMonkey and VCL in the, the common RTL. So for example, uh, the sensors uh, library, um, the REST uh, libraries, these are all shared between FireMonkey and VCL. Um, but you know, the VCL developers in particular, um, going back to Windows XP, we talked about this during the XC6 uh, launch time frame with Windows XP at the end of life. We really wanted to give you tools uh, to help you modernize your applications as you moved off Windows XP and moved your applications onto Windows 7 and Windows 8. So this pack is for VCL framework only. Uh, we have another person who's saying they're getting package errors. And, um, Again, I would suggest reaching out to TMS on that. Um, they're very good about responding. Um, none of us had seen this error here. Uh, it installed fine um, uh, for me as well. So i um, not really sure what the issue may be, but um, why don't we go ahead and uh, have you reach out to TMS on that one. By the way, the um, software that I was thinking of, that, that mobile application is uh, Candy Crush. Terrible game. That is a terrible game, but no. they made so much money, it, it, more than all the Nintendo software in last quarter, that's really just astounding. It's addictive, what can I say? But I, I try all the games on these mobile things to see what the devices can do, you know, graphics-wise and so on, mm -hmm. and then I just delete them. So, um, Okay, so uh, there were questions came in. I tried to answer some of them uh, while it was happening, and then we'll, we'll get the rest of them here. Um, Andrew said he, again, Andrew said he just purchased IC6 today. That's great. I put in the link to where you get all the promo items that are part of uh, the RAD offer for having XZ6 and all of you that already have XZ6. Just go to codecentral.embarcadero.com slash myreg, M-I-R-H-E. Uh, log in if you aren't already logged in to the community, and you'll find... Uh, things that you can access that are part of registered products that you have that you can download. You need to purchase before June 30th, but you can grab the Reg 
promos uh, to, you know after that time as well. Um, uh, Clive asked where you can get the previous Sprint webinars, and there's a playlist on YouTube. I sent put the link in the Q&A. There's a playlist, and this one I'll put together. It has the recording of the Sprint and then the live Q&A conversation from all three sessions uh, stuck on the end of it. So they're all very short, uh, as you see here. So that link is there. Um, Debbie, I'm sorry you had trouble, and but you left and came back. That's great. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, all the demos JT was showing come with the control pack. All the samples come with the control pack. So as you saw, he was navigating through the samples. So when you get the when you get XZ6, you download the control pack. Um, you get the components, the packages, and then you get the samples. You don't get the source code. If you want the source code, upgrade to the pro version uh, from TMS Software. Uh, let's see. Uh, ben asks, can you use the Metro controls and smooth controls? They're all VCL controls, right, JT? Yeah. Um Definitely, and, and it kind of goes on to another question, which is, do I need to use the Metro form? So, uh, or can I use a standard VCL form? So they all work together. The, the, if you use just a standard VCL form, although your controls will be styled like Metro, your form won't. So your choices are, you use a Metro form, or you use, or, or you can convert your VCL form into a Metro style form using our Metropolis uh, wizard. Uh, or lastly, you can create a new style and use those style elements to create the Windows Metro style form yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the only thing you'd want to be careful of is that the form and the just because you drop the Metro control on doesn't mean the form will know and update it. So if you want to use one of those three methods to to update that, yeah, convert a VCL form to a Metro form. Right mouse click. Yep. And there's a pop up menu item. I forget how far down it is. That... And we had called it Metropolis because Microsoft is going through that name change uh, at the time. Yeah. So yeah, it just says convert to Metropolis UI. That will convert your VCL form to that new look. Make sure you back it up because it is a one-way conversion. Um, so before you make that uh, of the form, right? make that uh, UI conversion. And again, the nice thing about it is that it, you don't need Windows 8. It, that Metro look uh, works on Windows 7. Yeah, it would work Windows on Windows Vista. Much any, any Windows I would uh, try to XP, system. but let's not go there. Um, it, the packages work with Delphi and C++ Builder, 32-bit, 64-bit Windows. Yep. And again, it's VCL. That's right. Um, let's see. What is Red User to download? Misha, I, I, I posted the link several times. Uh, that's where, for example, if you need to grab the install again uh, that you paid for, uh, you can go and grab it there. So that's what Reg User downloads are. Um, and you'll see the link in, is a, one of the answers. Uh, a couple yeah. times. Yep. yep. Uh, let's see. Demo files. Yeah, JT. Uh, those are just the samples. I basically, yeah, I just went through the samples. There's lots of great samples. Like I said, smooth controls will take you a very long time to go through all of them. There's lots of really cool stuff in there. Any demos on using them when someone resizes the screen? Resizing, you know, I think the best thing is to, is to try them. I, I uh, And also depends on how you're setting up your uh, either layout management yeah, your or your anchors or anchors. your alignment. Yep. Let's see. Again, Misha, look in the Q&A for... I just, uh, Oh, you pasted Oops, it again? I put it in the wrong one. <laughs> That's all right. For like Andrew's question, everybody should see the answers. And again, cc.embarcadero.com slash myreg. I went fast again. Sorry. cc.embarcadero.com slash myreg. 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 Myreg is a G. Yeah. And uh, just perf you can use frames. For all of you who have XZ6, you can go and get all the promo items. The promo Just items. like Andrew, who purchased XC6 today. Thanks for sharing. It's very cool. Have fun. Okay, well, thank you, everyone, for joining this morning's session. And uh, we'll see you on Thursday with Marco Cantu and monetizing your mobile app with advertising. Thanks, everyone. See you later.